Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Katerina and I'm a teacher from Canada. Today I'm going for a hike, so I'm just on my way now to the trails. It's starting out to be a really beautiful day. I just saw a bunny run across the road in front of me so fast. It was very cute. So I'm just on my way to find the entrance to the trail. It's a very long trail. It's located in North York. This is an area just outside of the busy core of Toronto. There are many really tall trees. People have got beautiful gardens and very manicured lawns. So the area in front of your house with all the grass, that's called the lawn. This is a very common expression. Think of a manicure. Nails are cut very neatly. The same way the grass is cut short and neat. Finally, I have found the entrance to the trail. There are two entrances. There's another one across the road. Can you see it? This entrance is downhill. To enter the trail, I will be walking down. When I'm leaving the trail, I will be walking up or uphill. So I decided to take the entrance to the trail that was downhill and I'm honestly really excited to see what we're gonna find. It's such a beautiful day today, so come on! Let's take a look at the trail. Here you can see near the entrance of the trail it is paved. It's covered with material like concrete or asphalt. The rest of the trail is unpaved. A trail is usually an unpaved path through the forest or the countryside. A hike is a long walk in nature, could also be on the countryside or through the forest. I am going on a hike. I am hiking. Today, I am hiking the trail in my neighborhood. Today, I am walking, but it's also very popular to run, cycle, or walk your dog on the trail. Hikes and trails range in difficulty, usually classified as easy, moderate, or difficult. An easy trail will be nice and flat, like this one. A moderate trail will have more hills, and a difficult trail will have lots of climbing. Are you feeling tired yet? Take a rest on a bench. A creek runs along the trail. So this is why you will notice life-saving equipment in different places along the trail. I guess it's not recommended to go into the water here, unless you're a duck. Right now, I am walking on the main path, but there are many other trails off the main path. If you follow one of these, you will come to a beautiful secluded area of the forest. Secluded, quiet, private, and not seen by many people. Here, I have found a fallen tree. This fallen tree makes for a nice bridge. I saw a chipmunk run fearlessly across. I'm taking a little break here and I'm gonna use this opportunity to show you guys what I brought. When I go for a little nature walk or a hike, what I usually bring is my backpack. Backpack. And I bring a cap. Cap a water bottle, water bottle with lots of cold water. And I bring this blanket. Um, sometimes, you know, you get tired and you just wanna take a little break. And what I like about this blanket is that it's waterproof. The bottom of it is kind of plastic, so it doesn't get wet when you sit down. A lot of the time when I bring a regular blanket, I don't realize that the grass is still wet and yeah, that's not very fun. Along with my backpack, cap 
and water bottle, I have also brought sunscreen lotion. This is to protect my skin against the sun. Headphones. I have brought headphones in case I want to listen to some music. Jacket. You never know, sometimes it gets cold in the shade. Blueberries. I brought blueberries for a snack. A snack is a small amount of food eaten between meals. We have a very popular snack called trail mix. It's a mix of nuts, seeds, and dried fruit. It is always called trail mix, even if you eat it when you're not on a trail. When I go on a hike, I usually wear running shoes. You can also wear hiking shoes. These provide more support and they're usually waterproof. On my lower body, I am wearing leggings. On my upper body, I am wearing a tank top and a plaid shirt. Today, I decided to be comfortable and casual. Since I ventured off the main path, I have noticed a lot more nature sounds here. I can hear the water, birds, I can hear the wind, I can even hear little animals making noises in the leaves. So let's talk about these nature sounds and how you can describe them. Can you hear the wind? I can hear the rustling of the leaves in the trees. A strong wind can be described as howling. Can you hear the water? The water burbles and splashes. A very strong and loud sound of water can be described as roaring. Here's an expression I really like, a babbling brook. Babbling is the name of the sound that babies make when they can't talk. So you can describe this water as a babbling brook. Can you hear the birds? The birds are tweeting and chirping. The birds are singing. Rustling is the sound you hear of movement in the leaves. Just like that, that's rustling. Oh, I heard some rustling over there. It was probably a squirrel, but let's go see if we can find who or what made that sound. I was incredibly surprised to have found a snake. Can you see the snake with the green stripe? The snake slithers away. There's a black squirrel. It's climbing down the tree. I have come across a family of chipmunks. I counted four, but there could be more. Can you see the chipmunk? It moves very fast. Near the water, I spotted several frogs. A family of geese floated by. This kind of goose is called a Canada goose. They are very common here in lots of parks. Many colorful birds live in the forest. I saw blue jays, red cardinals, and robins. Let's take a look at the flora that I have come across on the trail. Flora is all of the plant life in one particular region. On this trail, I saw many dandelions, flowers that grow in the forest that are not planted by humans are called wildflowers. This trail has many beautiful wildflowers. In the depth of the forest, I came across some mushrooms. 
grass grows along the side of the trail. It's springtime. I am so happy to see new plants are sprouting. New leaves are growing. There are many trees in the forest. Unfortunately, this one has fallen down. It is a fallen tree. Trees that have been intentionally cut by humans are called logs. The stump is the part of the tree remaining after it has fallen down or been cut that is still attached to the ground. My favorite tree is the maple. The maple leaf is a Canadian symbol. It's on our flag. Take a minute to leave me a comment. Tell me about your hikes and nature walks. I would love to hear. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I would be so curious to hear what topics are interesting to you. Please leave me a comment for my next lesson. Until next time, guys, see you very soon.